It's my first ever vlog and I just feel exposed. <laughs> um, oh my God, I hate myself. I was raised by a family of dwarves. So my mom, Hello. my dad, my brother, and my sister, Hi. and me. Okay, let's just get this part out of the way. No, 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 no. I am 100% organically from my mom and my dad. <laughs> Did that even make sense? One of the first questions I get are like, Oh my God, what is it like growing up in a family of dwarves? And I'm just like, Oh my God, what is it like growing up in a family of average height people? That would be incredibly awkward. I had a 75% chance of being a dwarf, but I popped out tall as <laughs> Never mind. I was born by C-section, which means I came out through the stomach, not the and I was half my mom's size. So by the time I was one, she couldn't pick me up and I couldn't sit on her lap. So the whole time I was growing up, I felt like I was supposed to be a dwarf, felt like being a dwarf was just normal until I went to school. And then I felt confused. <laughs> It's like, what is this weird world I'm living in? Is this right or is this right? What am I? Am I a dwarf? I wish I was a dwarf. I'm so confused. I'm just gonna like kill myself. No, not really. They ask you how you are, you just have to say that you're fine when you're not really fine. But I mean, imagine, of course I'm gonna feel like something's weird or off. I just feel bad for my parents because I had really bad ADHD. I mean, I still do, but it was super bad and I was kind of super awkward. I haven't really figured out like where I fit with like my family or in school or whatever. And my personality is just, really fucking weird. I don't know, but I didn't really have that many friends. They call my family the midget family or whatever, so it was always hard to make friends. It's so dumb. It's like, what does that have to do with anything? You're an idiot. If any of you are getting bullied out there because you're different or your family is different or whatever, I just wanted to quickly say, stop. It's not worth getting in your head about it. It's really a cool thing to be different. Uh, uh. So anyways, I remember I met this one new friend in middle school and I invited him over and I opened the door and my mom was like, hi, Charlie. And I remember being like, oh my God, I forgot to tell my family we're all dwarves. And you just don't think about it, you know? And I still remember the look on his face. I remember that day so well because it was such a pivotal moment where I was like, oh wow, I guess my family is that weird to some people. I don't know. It made me really feel like I wanted to, um, I don't know what to say. <laughs> a few moments later. So now my sister lives in LA, my mom lives in LA, my brother's in South Carolina, and my dad is in Cleveland, Ohio. So my dad is not dead. Everyone's asking, What's your dad? What's your dad? dad my dad just doesn't want to do TikTok. When him and my mom were married, they did a lot of commercials and postcards. So I think my dad has associated TikTok with entertainment. It reminds him of that old life, and I don't think he wants anything to do with it, which is totally fine. But I'm like trying to lure my dad in with brand deals. I'm like, dad, we can partner with this one company if we do a TikTok together. And he's like, no, no, I'm good. I'd rather just go broke. I'm like, whoa. So anyways, thank you for watching my first vlog. I don't know what I'm doing. I've never vlogged before. It's so vulnerable and awkward. I'm not gonna tell you to subscribe because I hate it when YouTubers do that. <laughs> I love you. Bye, have a great time.